Hey everyone, it's Amanda, Pineal Painting, Sarasota, Florida. Wow, okay, well I'm back to check on my pergolas after the hurricane. They're due for another coating. I usually just wash them with like a bucket of soapy, you know, a soapy rag. But um, I'm thinking this time I might have to pressure wash because they're covered in leaves, debris from the hurricane. Um, might be best just to give a nice good rinse with the pressure washer is what I'm thinking. It's been a while since I actually pressure washed them. Um, this is pretty bad. Look at this. All the way down. To the bottom. Get something hit here. No, it's just a leaf. Well, let's go check the other big one. This one's pretty bad too. A lot of the leaves from the bamboo and the palms blew onto here. So it's pretty. pretty dirty. I don't think I'm just, I don't think I'll take a rag on this one. I think I'm going to have to do an actual, actual really good rinse on here. The whole thing pretty much looks like this. It's like furry. See that? It's furry. Oh, let's see. Yeah, they're pretty bad. Let's check the rest of the house. Yeah. The whole house is like this. Look at this. It wasn't like that before really really dirty really dirty on the way up. definitely think I might have to just do a light pressure wash on this whole house over here so I'm thinking it's possible oh man look at this it's all over look at this Oh man, it's everywhere, especially on this side. Every road down, there goes a debris truck and a big trailer. Every road down here is full of tree debris. Look at this. street. Hey, they're throwing out chairs. Every, every street looks like this. There's so much debris. These bamboo pipes. Maybe they're from the um, palms. Anybody want some bamboo? <laughs> So, look at this big pile of debris. I'm glad their house only, she said a couple of the, the wood planks on the top of the pergola came off or came loose. So I'm going to have to get some galvanized nails. Look at this, the whole thing, really, really dirty, very, very dirty. It's my door. Love my door. Came out good. Yeah, this is really, really dirty. I'm going to have to definitely... Let's check, let's check.
check this check this side of the house. Man, looks like a hurricane came through here. <laughs> well, I have to talk to have to talk to them about this. See what they want to do. No. <laughs> Pumpkin gourds. No, I love this one. It's all bumpy. So cool. Alright, well, looks like we definitely need to do a pressure wash over here. This is the the other one. Look how bad it is. It's covered. Covered in leaves and debris. Normally it should look like that. Wow. That's a lot. Must have really blew over here. It's hard to see when the uh, when the sun's hitting it. Yep. This one's dirty too. Oh, there's the missing board. Yep. She said there was one. I think they have it, so I'm gonna have to get back up there and put it back up. Look at this house over here, guys. I'm on Alta Vista, and this is one of the uh, this house right here was built in the early 1900s. It may have been built in 1925. amazing. Sarasota has got tons of these houses. Looks like there's they're up there working on it doing something but um, this area is like a mix of old houses and newer modern houses. Um, I was looking on the um, I just figured I'd take a walk but I was looking on the the map and there's a house on this street that is almost a hundred years old. And I was looking to see if I could find it, but I don't really see it offhand. I gotta look, I wrote down the address so I could check it out, but got like a mix of new ho newer houses, and then you got the older houses. And this is all. <laughs> Look how much debris from the hurricane. Wow. Check out this house, guys. I'm looking for 1700. But this house had to have been built in 1925, 1926. It was a big land. It was a big land boom in Florida back then. They just started developing Sarasota. Look how old this house is. Oh, there's a big pergola. But this house has to be early 1900s here. It's really hard to get a look at the, what I'm looking for. Look at this one. This is Alta Vista and Osprey. Look at this house right here. This house is from early 1920s. It's amazing. There's some really amazing houses over here. Just wanted to check them out. This one's really crazy. I tried looking this one up on the internet and I couldn't figure out what this house was. It's definitely a, a famous house over here. Obviously, look at the colors of it. But there's a lot of gothic um, architecture and things over here in Sarasota. There's houses that have gargoyles on them and they're old, like almost 100 years old. But check out this house. Is this not amazing? This is a really, really old house. Really old house. Just look at that. The history here. The history here in Sarasota. Now look at all this debris from the hurricane. But the history here in Sarasota is crazy. Look at this. Look at the texture on this house. Look at 
the stucco on this. This is a really, really old house, you guys. Is it not amazing or what? I spent a couple hours yesterday researching a lot of this. And I just find it so fascinating. I think we need to document it before, before they tear them all down. Because literally just tear them down and build new. And that's why you have, look at this old one. That's why you have an uh, eclectic assortment of old historic homes and brand new homes. Look at this one. Beautiful. Look at the fountain in the front. How amazing is this? Look how tiny that door is. The little tiny front door. It's beautiful over here. I'd love to own one of these old houses. <laughs> Looks like the that one over there, the side of it's green and the front of it's pink. If you look at if you if you look at really old pictures and videos of Sarasota, you'll see this house. <laughs> but I couldn't figure out. Still couldn't figure out what it was called though. What they call it or I, I thought like because of the the jester above the door, I thought maybe it had to do with the ringling. They did. They tore down a mansion. They did nothing. It's sad. Sad, sad, sad. I can't believe they tore that mansion down and still haven't done anything, huh? The lot, the. Oh, they will be building yeah. soon? Okay. <laughs> Look at this old house. Wow. All I can say is wow. They all have little tiny doors. Well, another hurricane. There's another really old house down there, but I'd do a drive-by by the the old mansion house. Still haven't started building yet. Alright. Okay. Alright, it's time to go pressure wash. Gotta go pressure wash those pergolas. This is crazy. Sarasota, the whole place looks like this debris. Piles and piles and piles of trees. Look at this street over here. More and more and more and more. Every street. Crazy. Yeah, I just got done pressure washing the pergolas and it came out really good. It was so dirty. And I pressure washed the whole house too, so they were happy about that. So <laughs> looks a lot better and I can actually recoat the pergolas now because that's what I was really actually there to do was put a I, every year I put another coat on those things and maintain them so it's a lot of fun. So I'm looking for some old houses now. 
think I found it. I think this is it. I gotta check and make sure. This house right here is the oldest house in Sarasota. This house was the first house built in Sarasota right here. Built in 1900. Now, of course, we just had a hurricane and look at all this tons of debris. So it's not easy to get a look. This is Palmelo and Alta Vista. A lot of work going on over here. It's hard to see this house, but this right here. First house built. In Sarasota. Hey, you live here? No, I've been doing some work for him. Okay, I was just checking it out because I believe this is the first house that was built in Sarasota. This this well, house. The oldest. There was another one that was older. It's the oldest in Sarasota. I know that. There's um five on the. There's ten. Um, and there's five in Sarasota County. Yeah. And this is the first, this was, I think, the first one, 1900, and then there was a couple in 1901. Yeah. So I was just checking out the house. It's hard to see, though, because there's a lot of, um, all the debris from the hurricane, but yeah, that's really cool. cool. That's beautiful. They probably, yeah, is it? I imagine it's pretty cool. A lot of original stuff. I rebuilt a lot of the old blocks. From oh, the really? Found the parts for them, all kinds of stuff. Awesome. I've worked on this place probably almost 20 years. Wow, really? Oh, you're so lucky. That is so cool. I used to work with, on one that was 1906. Oh, wow. Shores, that place was unbelievable. It was uh, six bedrooms, six and a half bath, and uh, it was built like a tank. Oh, really? Isn't it amazing how these old houses hold up to like all these hurricanes and the new houses? They're, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, the walls were just like impenetrable. That is so cool. <laughs> Looks like they had a new roof put on. And um, it's hard to see, but this is it. Okay, there's another one here that I had written down the other day when I was looking this on the internet. And it is 2525 Pleasant Place and um, here in Sarasota. And it was built in 1900 as well. So I'm getting ready to go check that out. It says it's 0.9 miles away. So. <laughs> okay, I found it. This is 2525 Pleasant Place, Sarasota, Florida. This house was built in 1900. How awesome is this? How cool would it be to be able to get a look at this house? The inside of it is probably amazing. There's a plaque right here. It says, The Colmith Residence, 2525 Pleasant Place, built in Oh, 1876. Oh, okay. On the internet, they have it designated as built in 1900. Historically designated February 16th, 2021 by the city of Sarasota, Florida. 1876, y'all. Look at this. 1876. What an amazing house this is. This is actually really beautiful. I don't know how much res renovations they've had done to it, but looks like a looks like they still have the old windows. A lot of it's still original, probably, especially on the inside. This neighborhood's a really beautiful neighborhood, too. Of course, they have a gate, which is good to keep people out, because I'm sure people are always trying to get a look at this house. Look at the um, the front porch area. Isn't that amazing? 
French style doors in the front. Looks like it's got a regular size door. <laughs> a lot of times you see these older houses and they have this little itty bitty front door. This is awesome. How beautiful is this? Really, really pretty neighborhood. This is it. I found it. <laughs> so thanks for going on the journey with me. And I, I'm planning on showing some more historic homes and showing some more things that uh, are around Sarasota, Florida. If you come and visit, you'll be able to come check these places out. We have some really cool places. And um, I'm going back tomorrow to do the coating on the on the pergolas. And then I got to go out to Bird Key at the end of the week because I have another big pergola out there to recoat. So it's just pergola week this week. So. Um, Maybe I'll show a little bit out in Bird Key. Uh, there's some celebrity houses out there, but you know, I'm not really into celebrities and all that, but um, there's some pretty cool places out there as well. And some of that's pretty historic. So um, I like, I, I, I've been interested in that aspect uh, of it. And um, I'm having fun checking out all these really old houses. So if you enjoy it too, then, um, yeah, I'll probably be showing some more of it. All right.